It is October 1st and I am pleased to announce that it is spooky season. And while the other two bugs that I have planned for this month are very freaky looking, I thought I'd start off with something cool, like cool and simple, just a centipede. Now, specifically the red-headed Chinese centipede, which was used to torture Ken Kaneki in Tokyo Ghoul. This bug took so much time, which all my bugs take a lot of time, but Fun thing about centipedes, they have a lot of fucking segments. Who would have guessed? And actually, fun fact, just a little side note. Did you know that centipedes have an odd number, an odd number pair of legs? Isn't that crazy? I don't know. I think that's really cool. Um, but anyways, back to what I was saying. This was mm, mm, very, very time consuming. So as you can see, I had to make every single segment out of clay. I mean, out of tin foil, and then I had to cover them in clay, and then I had to make sure they fit together, and then I'm not going to spoil it, but then I had to do everything else. So see, that's a lot. Look at all of that. It turns out that I thought I made the right amount, because you know, as I said, it's supposed to be an odd number, but I ended up making 20 segments and the head, and I thought it was 21 segments, but... It was really 20 in the head. So, eh, you know, off to a rocky start from the beginning. So <laughs> it could be much worse, but it actually does get a little bit worse, but it's fine. It's fine. This is a good first attempt, I would say. So right now the clay is fresh out of the oven and I am just going to poke the wires through it. And I use two wires just to reinforce it to make sure that they weren't like wobbling around and spinning almost like an abacus i didn't want that so but i did want it to be opposable so i used two wires to reinforce it and that really fucked up my hands like the wires if i had a dollar for every single time that these fucking wires cut my poor little fingies i would definitely be able to get like my go-to meal from Taco Bell. So I guess it's a win-win situation. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to take my paint Sharpie and I'm going to draw over the two holes from the last segment and then press it together with the next segment so that the paint Sharpie marks will translate over to the next segment and therefore map out where I'm going to put the wire. That's what I was trying to do there. So, <laughs> and it actually worked. Took a little bit of trial and error. You just have to make sure you put like a lot of paint. I mean, from the Sharpie. Next, I was going to end it at the end segment, if that makes sense. So that's what I was trying to do here with the glue gun. And so that way it would cap out the end of the centipede. But that turns out to be a fatal mistake because centipedes have antenna on both sides of their body. So I had to fix that, obviously. And while I painstakingly tried to do that, I think this would be a good time to point out that I have a lot of respect for centipedes. I really, really do. I just think they're super, super freaky. And you know, I love the freaky bugs. They just do it for me, you know? And I think that the reason, or I'm gonna go out on a whim and say that I know that the reason that the red-headed Chinese centipede was the one that was chosen to torture Ken Kaneki is because that one is actually the most poisonous centipede out there. And while the centipede bite is venomous and does hurt, it's actually not killer to humans. So the bite wouldn't have killed Kaneki, not only because the centipede bite can't kill humans, but also because Ken Kaneki could regenerate. So it wouldn't have killed them anyway. Does the centipede bite hurt? Yes. Would it hurt as much as asking the hot girl from the coffee shop that you have a crush on out on a date, her saying yes, finding out you share multiple common interests, feel like you're falling in love, all for it to turn out to be an elaborate scheme for her to eat your body to fuel her ghoulish tendencies? No, I don't think it would hurt that much. So this Halloween, 
Pour one out for my dog, Ken Kaneki. He's one of those anime characters that's up there with guts when it comes to people who just can't catch a fucking break. But back to the centipede that I'm making, I was trying so hard to get the antenna <laughs> to look good. And I did the hot glue method, as you can see here, where I kind of just like stick it in the hot glue. I don't know if that fucks up the machine, but so far it hasn't. So I will just continue to do that. And for whatever reason, I got it perfect on one side and then the other side, I could not get it perfect for the life of me. Don't know why I put my finger in the hot glue, but whatever. And then I think I actually gave up. As you see, I didn't even show the two. I just went on to the other leg segments. Yep, I definitely didn't finish the other one. I was like, I'll come back to it. But the leg segment also wasn't giving me a fucking break. So, <laughs> and I had to do this. Let me do some quick maths in my head. I had to do this what? 44 times. I had to try and do this hot glue bullshit 44 times. <laughs> And the first few times I couldn't even get it right. That's the crazy part. But you know what? If you're going to fuck up, fuck up on the first attempt. You know, fuck up as many times on the first attempt. Because I'm going to make another centipede. Maybe. Don't hold me to it because these things are very time consuming. But I am going to make another centipede. Because I don't think this centipede is as scary as a centipede is supposed to be. And... That's one of the reasons I like centipedes, because they're fucking scary. If I was a bug, I would be a praying mantis. But I wouldn't complain if I was a centipede, because they're cool. I don't know. Like, they're pretty sick. They have the venomous bite, and they're really fast, and they're carnivorous. They're just, they're just crazy. Which brings me to my next point, actually. Centipedes and millipedes should not be in the same category. They have lots of technical differences, sure, like the fact that millipedes have two legs per segment, whereas centipedes have one, and, you know, millipedes are usually smaller, not as fast, but, and also there's the fact that they are vegetarian, whereas centipedes are carnivorous, which I don't know if you can catch on to where I'm going, but millipedes are sweet little creatures who do not need the same flack that centipedes get. If you killed a centipede, would I be sad? Yeah. Would I blame you? No. If you killed a millipede, I would be fucking pissed. So let me just ask you something, because millipedes are harmless, okay? So let me just ask you something real quick. Would you kick a puppy? No! So why would you kill a millipede? Keep that in mind next time you see a fucking millipede. If you see a millipede, leave it alone. They're not even carnivorous. They're not even venomous. They don't do shit. They're just there and they're just chilling. They have all their little legs and they curl up into little balls. They don't do shit. So leave them alone. See, I was ranting so much about millipede rights that I am actually now deep in the paint job. My bad. <laughs> I don't know why I went through this Sharpie thing. I'm just going to go over it anyway, but I was trying to just make it look cleaner because it's already not very clean. And I actually went over the legs a second time because they just looked sloppy. Like the wires were still poking through. So I went over all the legs and made sure I covered every bit of wire that there was. So. And then I bent them in the right positions and I think it looks good now. I primed the legs with paint and I ended up painting them the same paint that I used for the underside, which is a gold mixed with orange. And because I just wanted it to shine a little bit, I don't know, it was pretty. So that's what I did. And here I am still fucking priming. Because, you know, it takes so long, which is fine. Uh, at the time I made the centipede, it turns out that the dubbed version of Hori Mia was released on Hulu. So I was not, it didn't feel tedious. The task itself was tedious, but didn't feel tedious because Hori Mia is a goaded romance anime. So I was happy to watch it in the background while I was doing this. So right now, let's just appreciate this paint job real quick.
Now let's all gather to witness this fat L that I'm going to take because no matter what I did, I could not get the right reddish color that I wanted. So I did all this mixing, wasted all this paint just to go with the basic red paint that I already have. So there's that. <laughs> so lots of mistakes were made, but it's fine. Because if you're gonna make mistakes, might as well make them on the first try because you'll just get better when it comes to the second try. And voila, ooh la la, look at that. And so now I am going to go over it with a special glaze, the dragonfly glaze that I love, which will give it a nice purple blue shift sheen. And I just think that's the cherry on top. Very glittery, very pretty, not very spooky for Halloween. You wouldn't think that this was the same centipede that was used to torture Ken Kaneki. But what can I say? I'm a girl and bitches love glitter. What can I say? I think it looks pretty, okay? And I'm rocking with it. I hope you are too. Plus just appreciate this painstaking glaze job that I'm doing right now. Oh, look at that. We've reached the end of the video. Woo! And I just want to say that the next bug that I'm making, the video for the next two weeks, is so fucking sick. I am so sorry. That is my magnum opus. That bug will probably be on the forefront of my channel for like indefinitely because it is so sick. So we all have that to look forward to. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all of the subscribers who have subscribed, all 10 of you. I do appreciate all 10 of you. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween. I will see you for the next one. Bye.